conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay Prince. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody is off to a good start on this week. Uh, no matter what challenges you're facing, I hope that you have an understanding that you are built for the battle. Uh, I am going to be uh, as succinct as I possibly can in expressing uh, my disquietude. Uh, I've already addressed this once, but someone asked a question. And I thought I might want to uh, address that question on an open stage uh, for others who may be asking or having or entertaining uh, the same question. Uh, by now, I'm pretty sure you've heard, you've come across, you've maybe even seen the movie or seen a clip of the movie Cuties being aired on Netflix. Um, and you are aware of the sensitivity and nature of it and how many of us are viewing it. Unfortunately, there are going to be those who are going to find a way to rationalize it. There are gonna be others who will find a way to justify it. Uh, the truth of the matter is you have to understand that there's a responsibility as adults to protect our children. We are not to allow them to enter into the area in which adults play. Uh, whether I agree with an adult's lifestyle, whether I agree with a, uh, an adult's choice on how they tend to live their lives, I have to concede it to them because they are, an, they are adults. Uh, there are certain places that we are supposed to protect our children from. One of the most undeniable responsibilities of adults, of parents, of communities is to protect the innocence of our youth far too often and far too intensely our youth are being robbed of their innocence in so many ways that it's becoming difficult to track so there are going to be those who don't see anything wrong with it and that's because we've had our moral compasses uh, twisted for so long that we have found many things that were once unacceptable to be acceptable. We have even gotten to the point where we co-sign things that we once held disdain for because it's politically correct to do so. It's also a way we like to say to let everybody live. The thing is, a child has a right to their innocence until they are no longer a child. And it's the responsibility of adults to do so. This movie uh, overly sexualizes prepubescent babies. These, these aren't even teenagers, which would still be an issue and still be a problem and still need to be dealt with. But we're talking about prepubescent babies, so we're talking about pedophiles. Uh, the, the big part of the uh, perverted spectrum are either going to be pedophiles or a feeble files. Pedophiles are people who are attracted to prepubescent children, children who haven't even entered into puberty yet, children who haven't developed any sign of sexual maturity at all. There's no development whatsoever that even gives that. If feeble files are a different type of illness and sickness. Those are the ones who see post-pubescent, adolescent young children, normally from the age of 12, 13 to 18. Um, and some of us who meet, I consider today is 21. But they are developed, but they're still immature. 
mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically, they are not in a state or a position to which to even give consent. And see, there's, there's the play in all of this. There's this ongoing push to change the age of consent when it comes to sexual activity in which a child can give a set consent to an adult. And we have to be aware of how this is playing out, how it's being pushed, how it's being placed in front of us. One of the ways that this is going to be done is what you're seeing now with this Cuties movie. It's going to be an introduction into what I call soft kitty porn, where you've got little girls doing things and moving their bodies in ways that adult women are doing. And uh, it's being marginalized, minimalized, and it's, you know, it's cute. No, it is not cute. You are responsible for protecting your baby's innocence. And yes, they will do things that they see done in, 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 in videos, on television, in movies. And it's your responsibility to take hold of it and say, no, we don't do that. That's not for you to do. It's for you to put barriers of protection around your children. It's for us to put barriers of protection around the children in our communities. It is absolutely imperative that we take a direct approach to this. The question that was posed to me by a gentleman was, what do we do about it? It doesn't seem that Netflix is going to pull it. Obviously, Netflix is probably not going to pull it because of the attention it's getting. You got to understand a lot of pedophiles and they, they prop, I mean, they literally accumulate and congregate on the internet. The internet has become the praying ground of pedophiles and the feeble files. It is where they groom children. Uh, your child could be on the phone and you don't even realize it. They are interacting with an adult pretending to be a kid and they're being groomed and you'll look up and they won't be in the house because they will be have they would have been lured out of the house and taken. This happens way more than you are aware of. So we have to be careful. But to answer the question, what do we do about it? You have to withdraw your support from anything that does not align with your moral compass. In other words, my, uh, we have to stop financially supporting things that we cannot morally support. If it does not align with our values, if it does not align with our principles, if it does not align with who we are as a people, we have a responsibility to withdraw our support from it. Yes, we have a problem as a people, specifically because we have this, 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 desire this innate addiction to being entertained that is how we have been held uh and checked that is how we have often been distracted and misled misguided misdirected is that we have to be entertained you we have to see our shows our sports events we have to see things and if netflix has anything on it that we love watching on a regular basis it's going to be hard for us to sit up and say man i'm gonna man i'm gonna miss whatever that series is that you just can't get enough of it's what's stopping you the problem is these people are literally sitting up there and facilitating the desensitization to the sexual exploitation of young babies and we have to take a stand because it won't be long they've been pushing to put to, to lower the age of consent to make pedophilia a normal sexual encounter and to decriminalize pedophilia and ephebophilia, it has been going on. There are large groups there in our political offices. They are uh, in our corporate uh, structure. They are all over the place. They're in our churches. And what we have to understand is we are going to have to root them out. We are going to have to literally sit up and take a stand. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't want to fight for racial equality in the justice system if you don't want to fight for racial equality inside of the institutional structure of this nation whether it be academics whether it be corporate america whatever if you don't want to fight to defend that 
you better be prepared to fight to defend our babies. There's absolutely no wiggle room in sitting down and saying, not on my watch. This will not happen. There can be places where you can have access to stuff that does not include children. What adults choose to do, whether you agree with it or not, they have, an, uh, they have a right if they want to do it, and it's antisocial. And, 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 it, and it's counterintuitive to what you're trying to accomplish. You have to separate yourself and distance yourself and leave them alone. But when it comes to babies, we have a oblig we have an obligation to sit up and say, not on my watch. We have an obligation to sit up and say, we're going to take some action. This isn't one of those things that you can sit quietly on the sideline and sit up and have an opinion and be quiet. This is the thing where you got to stand up. You got to make your presence felt. You got to speak boldly. You got to give the babies a voice because they don't have it. And from what I understand, I only saw a small clip and that was enough for me. I didn't even finish watching the whole clip. It was enough for me. This is what I can tell you that just the visuals on this is sickening. But when you look at the backstory which somebody shared, when you look at the backstory, the, the, the little black girl is the center of it. And you can see that she's the one that seems to be in at least the clip I've seen that's showing all the other girls this stuff. Now, but she's also, what you don't see is the story of black line. She is uh, the daughter of practicing Muslims. And she is now being introduced into Western culture. Sound familiar? Well, it, well, everything seems to go now. And whatever happens is this movie is about the liberation from the restrictions of Islam. And in, in her liberating herself, number one is a little girl who looks to be no more than six or seven years old. I don't know. Can't be no more than six or seven at the tops. Eight. Liberated from what? And liberated into what is the question. What are you liberating yourself into? At that age, that baby does not need to have any type of exposure to any type of sexual orientation at that age. We need to get our kids back to being kids again. We need to get our kids back. And, and another thing we've got to do is this isn't so much about the kids as it is the desensitization of adults. But here's what we need to do. We need to guard the gates of our children. These devices are unbelievably convenient. Uh, they can keep your kid quiet. They can keep your kid occupied. I guarantee you, your ho if you've got kids in the house with devices, it's a whole lot quieter in the house when they don't have them. I know this because we take our kids' devices at certain times. They don't get to have them all during the day. And I can tell you, when they don't have devices, they get up. But that's what kids do. For the sake of quietness, we have given them the very thing that will destroy them so that we can have peace. We have stepped out of the traditional roles and we're looking for the quietness that comes with being single. You're not single. Even if you're not with someone, you've created a child. You have a family now and you've got a responsibility that goes along with being a parent. You don't get quiet. Not until they get old enough where you can tell them to be quiet and go to their room. You, you are going to have to deal with this. Giving kids phones to shut them up and hush them up and make them more docile isn't how you parent. You parent through engagement. You parent through teaching. You parent through direct physical contact. You parent through your presence. You've got to have a commitment to being there enough to know when something's not right with your child. When your child is varying off from their normal behavior, you should be able to recognize it. I drive mine crazy because I can pick up when they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. I'm not here to be their friend. I'm not here to make sure they get everything they want in their head. I'm here to protect them and to provide for them. The fun we have together is a plus. 
I'm trying to prepare you for a world that's looking to chew you up and spit you out as is. The last thing I need is to have your mind exploited before you're ever able to go out there. And you have a twisted and warped sense of your sexuality because you were allowed to be exploited at a very young age. That's not going to happen on my watch. And so this is what we've got to do we've got to protect our kids we've got to guard what's going on their devices we've got to limit their time on their devices they spend way too much time on these devices we've got to reel that in and then we've got to send messages to these film producers that we're going to come with everything we have after them we're going to come after them with everything we have when they when we see our babies at risk it's time to wage war it's time to stand up. It's time to sit up and send a message that you are not going to exploit our children. So for the people who are wondering what you do, first thing you do, send, uh, go on your Netflix account, hit cancel subscription. See how they respond to it. Maybe they pull it, maybe they don't. But you don't put your money or your support. You don't watch not one thing. You don't give them not one advertising dollar when they are not supporting your values. You're gonna, we're going to have to learn to align ourselves beyond convenience and comfort. That's how we are so easily manipulated. We don't like being uncomfortable and we don't like not having the convenience of the things we like to do. So if it count, if it calls us calls for us to do that, we are not going to do it. So here's my challenge. My challenge is that we number one start directly contacting the executives and the customer service department at Netflix. Flood that line so that they can't handle their regular customer service calls. Flood it. Flood their emails. Flood their phones. And then cancel subscriptions. You have to have something that you're standing for. You got to have something that's bigger than the moment that you believe in. So that's what I'm challenging every last one of y'all guys to do. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget, show some love and support the work we are doing at the Odyssey Project. The work we're doing in research. The work we're doing in program development. The work we're doing... And engaging the youth. Uh, show some love. The information is there in the description box. I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Hello everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here. Dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know outside of the businesses that I run. Like Myriad Business Solutions. The Visionetics Institute. Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities. Uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.